Hello everyone and welcome to a video about buses. Well, of course not those buses, but the bus system inside the Gothamon's Little Deformer 3. Now this is actually a very cool feature which we unfortunately don't see in many other groove boxes or instruments. Now a bus is basically just an audio mixer or an audio combiner. And there are eight of those buses inside the Little Deformer 3. So we basically have eight individual audio mixers inside the device. But let's start from the beginning. I've got a little something set up here on the Little Deformer 3 and I'll just play it for you real quick. Right now everything is muted, but you already see the flashing lights. So here I've got a kick drum sample, a snare sample, clap and hats. And over here I've got a synth and another one. Now, so far I haven't changed any bus related configurations yet. So when we go into a VCA menu of a part, for example, part one, we see that it is assigned to bus one. Part two as well. And my drum parts 10, 11, 12, 13 are all assigned to bus one as well. This means that all of the audio signals from the six parts that are playing are routed into one audio mixer basically. And also all of those signals are mono. So let's look at the bus configuration now. We can exit out of the menu and then simply press bus. And here we will see the bus out page with all the eight buses. Bus number one is set to left and right and all the other buses right now are set to the left output. Now one thing you should know immediately here is that, like I said, it's a mono signal. And the bus one being routed to left and right outputs does not mean it's stereo. It's simply a mono signal that is copied to the left and right audio output. So for example, like this, we can listen to it via headphones and won't just have an audio signal on the left side. Let me unmute my parts real quick again. Because of course we also have a little VU meter next to the bus, which shows us activity. Okay, and this is all good and this is actually how most instruments or groove boxes behave. You just mix all of the sounds together in the end, either mono or stereo, and then they are just sent out of the audio outputs. The Little Deformer 3 offers you a lot of flexibility here though. So let's look at what you can do with a bus. As I said, each bus is basically an audio mixer. So we can use those eight mixers to create submixes of various parts of our performance. For example, right now, let us split the synth sounds and the drum patterns. And to do this, I'll simply choose part 10, my kick drum, and then I will go into the VCA menu where we have the bus assignment for that part. And instead of bus one, let me just choose bus four. And now when I switch back to the bus page and hit play, we can see that the kick is now on bus four playing on the left. Of course, my kick should be in the middle, so I will just simply set that to left and right as well. The rest of my drum sounds should not be straight in the middle, but they should be separated a bit in the stereo field. So I will choose bus 7 and 8 to achieve that. Bus 7 will go to the left ear like it is already set up, and bus 8 will go to the right ear. And now I will just go to my other drum sound and send the VCAs to buses seven and eight. And you can see here very quietly the other drum sounds playing. To apply some stereo panning now, we'll go back into the parts VCA menu. And right now we're on slot 13, so the hi-hats. And we can now go to the mod page. And there we have a panning parameter, which is set to manual. And the amount is set to 256. So right in the middle of our range. Now let me quickly mute my synths so we can hear the panning better and hit play and then play with the amount. Yeah, let's maybe leave our hats on the left side here a little bit. And now we can do the same with the clap sound. Simply switch to the clap and 
since we have it routed to seven and eight as well, we can now use the panning parameter. And now we have it a little bit on the right. Okay, so this is how you pan the sounds. Assign the VCA to two buses and then set the buses to left and right ears and now you can use the panning. So what else can we do with the buses? Let's look at the different pages we have in the bus menu now. The second page is the bus follower release. Each bus has an envelope follower which is creating an envelope modulation signal from the volume of the bus. And you can use those eight bus followers as modulation sources in your patches. Setting the follower release time to 511, the maximum value, will always keep the bus followers open. Or basically the modulation will always be at the maximum amount and it will not change even if the bus goes silent. So here's just a very quick example what you can do with the bus followers. Remember on bus 4 we have our kick drum. But right now the follower doesn't do anything because it's constantly at the maximum value. Let's decrease this value now. And this will mean that the bus follower just follows the amplitude, the volume of our kick signal. And for percussion sounds we probably don't really hear much of a difference now. It may be a little duller. But we can still hear the kick sound. Now let's go into part one, our synthesizer, and into the VCA menu, to the mod page, and then for the level of the VCA, we can choose bus follower four, follower four. And then we can increase the amount of modulation. So now whenever the kick drum sounds, our part one synthesizer will be louder. Let's unmute it. You can clearly hear how the volume of the synthesizer now follows the volume of the kick drum. And remember, if you tap on the modulation source, it'll be inverted. So now we have a side chaining effect. Okay, so that was just a very quick example of a bus follower application. Let's go back into the bus menu again. The next page we have is the follower gain. If you have a signal on a bus that is very quiet but you still want to use that signal with the bus follower as a modulation source, then you might just want to amplify the bus follower effect. And this is what this follower gain does. So when I play it back now, we still hear the side chaining effect but I can turn that effect down now by just decreasing the bus follower amount or the gain. Or I can even increase it for a stronger effect. Again, this is just increasing the bus follower modulation strength and not the audio signal of any of my parts. Let's go to the next page. This one is called Bus Levels and it simply lets you adjust the audio volume of each of the buses. The last page is the bus envelope. Each bus's volume can also be modulated by an envelope. And right now all buses are set to their own follower as an envelope. But of course we can change that. For example, our synthesizer bus one could be controlled by the envelope of one of our percussion parts. For example, we could use the envelope of our clap sound, part 12, to modulate the volume of our synthesizer bus. We can simply set our bus envelope one to part 12. And now when you hit play, listen how the clap sound will also activate our synthesizers.
But remember, this is the envelope of part 12, which is now modulating bus 1's volume. This has nothing to do with the bus follow us we set up here. All right, what else is there? Of course, you can also route audio inputs onto a bus. You simply go to the input menu and then you have input left, right, three, four, five, six, depending on how many you have installed, of course. And then you can simply route those inputs to a specific bus or nowhere. Another important part of buses are the audio effects that you can insert or apply onto one or more buses. To set those up, simply go to the effects menu and then you already see effect number one is off, but it is assigned to bus number one. So as soon as we select an effect here, this effect will be sitting on bus one and all the audio that comes through it. So right now, this would be our synthesizers. Let's select an effect. And yeah, we can simply use glitch shift for now. I'll just hit play and then we can set it up. We switch the effect on in the effects page. We can dial up the mix. And now everything that's coming through bus one is affected by this weird glitch shifting. We can also add another effect to the bus. To choose another effect, we just hold the part button while we're in the effects menu somewhere. And then when we switch to two, we're switching to effect number two and not part number two. Let's go back here. It is assigned to bus one as well. And then let us choose, let's see what we have here, a bit crusher effect. Turn that on, turn up the mix reduce the bits. And then let's listen to that. Okay, yeah, that's pretty much mangled. Okay, so now we have two effects sitting on bus one. So let's fatten up our kick drum now. Let's choose effect number three. And then set it to our kick drum bus, which is bus four. I've got the bass enhancer plug-in enabled on Metal Deformer 3. So let's go to effect, turn that on, hit start, and let's see what we can do. Oh yeah. Yeah, just a little bit like that is already enough to give it some more thickness. So now insert effects one and two are sitting on bus one and insert effect three is sitting on bus four. And now of course we could continue doing this for all of our buses and just add effects on top of effects and so on. Another thing we can do with the buses is send their audio through the analog filters if you have those installed in your little Deformer 3. For this demonstration, I will quickly disable the effects we set up for our synthesizers so that it's easier to hear. I will also go back into the bus menu to the envelope and switch that to the envelope follower again so that we can hear all of our synthesizers and not just when the clap sound is happening. To assign an analog filter to a bus, we just go into the VCF menu. And then here on the mix page, we have bus assignment off. But now I will set that to bus one and let's hit start. And we can already hear the synthesizer sounds a little bit muffled because here on the cutoff frequency that's turned down. I'll quickly mute my drum parts. So this is an analog filter now, which is installed in my little Deformer 3. Okay, so I will leave it at that now. I hope this gave you a good overview of the bus functionality. And yeah, have fun using your little Deformer 3 and see you soon. Thanks a lot for watching.